has started a new series where I essentially train the model on chat G on chat GPT four to give me stock market predictions. And as of right now, it's been a hundred percent accurate, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, and I actually did adjust it a little bit further to actually give me the output of the price where it thinks it's going to go to the text and also um, to the actual image itself. So as you guys know, I funneled it a Python program. I'm a, I have a programming background. I basically gave it a program to export the image um, so that I can have exactly like a target for it. Right. But instead of doing that, I actually had it write down the what is it called? Uh, certain steps and calculations that I want to see, uh, but also giving us the price of where it thinks it's actually going to go. And as of right now, and I'll just go through these really quickly, right? I put AMC, it thinks that it's going to $6, right? Prior to that, we actually, I actually ran this for Shopify and it thinks it's going to $65. It's currently at 59. My target is 62 bucks, 68, but the AI thinks that it's going to 65. And keep in mind, you know, I am, you know, my, my page is roughly, you know, mostly investment stuff. And, you know, I have a target of like this, right? Whereas they, whereas the AI has a target that's basically around that area, right? And then again, we have for a target for Baba around, what is it called? Uh, 85 bucks, right? My target is 8260. This guy is targeting a little bit, um, 85, a little bit higher, right? So the artificial intelligence is targeting that right now. Um, for for Intel, which is pretty ridiculous, because I actually posted this a little bit ago. It had a it has like a longer term, um, you know, price forecast. I think like forty bucks, but I actually ran this on a lower time frame chart, and it actually thinks it's going to thirty two fifty. So I actually took these, right? I actually took these um options, and as of today, those options would be worth a hundred percent return, right? Will be a hundred percent gains, but. The thing is, I actually sold them out yesterday because we had like a little nasty drop in the morning and I'm like, ah, this thing's going to keep dropping. So I took the, well, not an L, I basically sold that break even, but today it completely moonshot. So technically it's still correct. My target right now is 34 bucks. AI shorter term is targeting around 32.50, right? And on the longer term, it was targeting like 40 plus dollars. So, so far that one's still pretty good. Um, uh, Meta, it's still targeting like a $500 price forecast. And for and, and right now for the ES1, which is the spy, right? This is just the futures chart. It's targeting 5350. And as of right now, it does look like it might be heading there. So let's look at the ES. So it is dropping a little bit. Shorter term, it is predicting 535. So right, right here, right there. I don't know if we have news. Right. I'm not really sure if we have news right now, which is which might cause a fall like at 530 or so. But again, it is looking for a forecast of around 535. Right. That's what it's looking for right now. Is that going to hit it? I have no idea. Right. I have no idea if it's actually going to go to 535. But short term, that's what it's looking for. Right. And then before that, I asked it on Bitcoin where I thought it was going, right? And as of right now, it does look like it wants, it's saying $68,000 uh, on, on Bitcoin. I don't know about that one, right? I think that one's a little bit more, a little bit higher than what I think is going to happen with Bitcoin because I'm more bearish, but we'll see. But yeah, guys, really fucking wild. Um, we'll see what happens. So far, it's been 100% accurate. We'll see if it can hit Meta and Baba and Intel and AMC on targets. AMC, I'm not really thinking that it'll do too well just because AMC is too volatile to really, you know, affect anything. But I don't know. We'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.